We could be paying $4 a gallon for gas by the end of the week. The people who study how gas prices change our everyday habits say we already passed the point where people are beginning to make changes, including considering other ways to get around. Here's Steve Steger. Gas prices in Colorado are at about 385. Likely by Wednesday morning, they will be north of 390. Probably by the end of the week, $4. Bad news, guys, that ain't going away for a while. I don't think we're going to see any decline in gas prices until Labor Day. Skylar McKinley is the spokesman for AAA in Colorado. He says while that $4 a gallon number gets people talking, it's a much lower number that gets Colorado drivers to actually do something. We survey drivers periodically in Colorado and across the country, asking them, at what price point do you change your behavior? And for most Coloradans, it's not until you're in that 375 zone where around 64% of Coloradans say, I'm starting to notice this impact on my pocketbook. I need to do something different. At 375, they start making other choices, cutting down on road trips, combining errands, and maybe, just maybe, trying a different way to get around. Some Americans might say, you know what? Now's a great time for me to try out the bus. An odd suggestion from the spokesman for the American Automobile Association, but statistically, drivers have moved to transit in the past when gas prices went sky high. In the summer of 2008, RTD logged more boardings as gas reached $4 a gallon. Then those numbers dropped off when prices plummeted. But RTD set records that year. The agency cautions it's hard to correlate ridership with gas prices, which have remained steady at times when gas prices fall. There's a lot more walkable neighbor neighborhoods in Denver now. There's also better bike infrastructure. McKinley says this could prove an interesting experiment. I actually think this is a very interesting time in the history of Colorado to have these high prices because we've urbanized a lot since 2008. Uh, and so there are now transportation options around that weren't there in 2008. RTD says a lot of factors influence ridership changes. Could be the weather, could be a new line or route opening somewhere, not necessarily only gas prices. But ridership is down dramatically since the start of the pandemic. So this could prove, Kyle, to potentially restore a few of the riders that they lost during the pandemic if people decide to get out of their cars and sample RTD for a little bit. The mm -hmm. question is, is the system working well enough that it'll make people say, this is a good alternative. I might try this more often, even when gas prices go down. Will they like what they sample? Yeah, because I mean, we're seeing the gas prices rise across the country. Not every city has the transit that we do. Some cities have much more effective transit than we do. And studies on this nationwide have actually found that as gas prices have gone up across the country pretty pretty regularly, you know, yeah. we had that low point in 2008 at the end of the year, uh, gas prices have gone up pretty regularly and transit ridership has trended down. So the question is, is there anything that's going to drive people into buses and trains mm -hmm. rather than behind the wheel of their car? Well, we shall see. Yeah. We actually shall see. All right. Thank you, Steve.